So I spoke to a company over in Solihull um, back when I worked in sort of retail at John Lewis. Yeah. And it was always, well, how do I get into this world? Mm. And they, they weren't very forthcoming with information, put it that way. And a bit elitist kind of thing, like a lot of people. It's a gentleman's club yeah. or it's, it's closed doors and well, if you don't know, we're not gonna tell you. But yeah. how do you find something out if somebody's not willing to just give you a snippet of what happens? Um, but yeah, it was, it was one of those that, I wanna go into it, it's something I've wanted to do forever. Mm. I've always wanted to do a house that looks after itself. Yeah. That's what I've always told someone. Yeah. And I get that houses don't look after themselves. There's a lot that goes on behind closed doors. Well, but, in the theory of it, but in the theory of it, I'd love a house that looked after itself. Mm. And if I can go and put that in a customer's house and they are completely happy with it, like all of Rich's clients, then, well, I enjoy doing what Rich does. Mm. So why not do it myself? I, I worked in retail for many, many years. Um, and it's in a lot of server rooms. And those server rooms themselves, you wouldn't know what was what, what did what. They're all black, white, and gray cable. So just take it from a fault finding purpose. If you need to go and have a look at something, one, they're labeled, but two, they're a completely different color. So I know that if I wanted data, it's gonna be red, CCTV. It's going to be yellow. It just makes things that little bit easier for everybody else. And if everybody worked to the same standard, things would go so much smoother, things would be faster. So within this industry, there isn't a standard for certain things. And I find that with the, the partner training that everybody seems to be doing, if everybody's working to that standard, everything's gonna be better in the long run, not just for the installer, but for the homeowner. And obviously what Rich is doing with the partner network, I think is brilliant. If he's got people dotted all around the country, somebody rings this telephone number and says, this has gone offline and it's something that can't be sold from a laptop because some things can't because smart homes rely on cabling and we can go along and take something out of one port and put it into another or create a new patch cable for instance and plug it in and it works i think what he's doing is absolutely fantastic a little bit more if i'm honest um so obviously from coming here and being part of the build of AOS Academy, I thought was fantastic. But then obviously actually getting to come on the partner training, the folder that you get given right at the start of it that talks you through absolutely everything. The sort of social media side of it, um, I kind of already really knew what he was gonna be talking about on day one, but once you actually sit down, you start going through stuff and seeing how a job would go. Again, obviously we're doing it on a test bench. But in theory, when you go out into the field, you're doing it on a house and all you're doing is building a very small house that's in there. But everything being labeled in that blue folder and seeing everything and being able to see stuff that's on the wall in the training academy that has been custom built for it was brilliant. Just the sort of the little things that Rich has got, his set up there, you get to see how he's dressed it, um, how he would put stuff in himself. He does everything for you and then you get to go away and do it yourself. And, put your own flair on it in one respect, but keep into the same standard. I think the fact that obviously he's been there, done that and got the t-shirt for it, he's made the mistakes, he's always honest about that he's been there, done it and made a few mistakes along the way and that we don't have to go and sometimes make those costly mistakes. We all make mistakes. It's part yeah. of life. Yeah. yeah, we are all human and I do sometimes think you've got to make the mistake to actually learn from it. So. Yes, he teaches you absolutely everything and he tells you what you shouldn't be doing and what you should be doing. I think sometimes just going ahead and doing it and a couple of cuts on fingers from cutting some cat cables and accidentally snipping yourself with a set of side cutters, you know, they're, they're things that you've got to go on and learn, but the whole how this week has gone so far has been brilliant. It is set out fantastically. I'm going to say he's ironed out as many bumps as he possibly can do um, since doing it for however many weeks it's been going for this year now. But it is. It completely exceeds my expectations, the level of professionalism that Rich has got and the fact that no question is a stupid question, the only question that is stupid is one that you don't ask. Um, and he's not going to ridicule you for asking something that some people just don't know. Like I've got people sat in the training course that have never done an RJ45, I've done hundreds of them, they've done none of them, but he sits there and takes the time, puts you through the process of how it's done. 
um, give you a couple of little tips. Uh, take IECs for instance, uh, I was on site in Leicester with you guys recently and he went, do you know the tip on how to do this? Instead of just letting you go along, fumble, mess something up and go, oh, you've done that wrong. He shows you first how it's done. Everybody learns differently. Some people can learn by reading a book. Some people learn by seeing something and some people learn by doing something. Rich tells you it, shows you how to do it and then lets you get on with it. And I think he's hit the nail on the head with this training course. Um, how much it actually costs to okay. build a smart home. Right. So Rich put on his Instagram recently um, questions about smart homes that you want to ask. And I think for obviously when I've gone and tried to ask other companies, how do I get into the smart home route, they wouldn't tell you. And to have a big full smart home, it was only ever for like the rich and the elite people people that can afford to have a £100,000 cinema room put into their house. And I get that sat on our test benches, X amount of thousands of pounds worth of kit. But without having certain qualifications or certain trade accounts, you can't just go on the internet and find out how much something is. And that is fantastic, obviously, for the fact that you price a job and that customer then can't go and sort of start penny pinching by nipping onto certain wholesalers and having a look at stuff. Um, but I suppose the only thing that really surprised me was yes certain things are x amount of money but he doesn't hide that side of it for you um, even sort of like when we go and do jobs as partners in the long run what we're actually going to get so he has laid everything out for us so yes it was surprising but there wasn't as many surprises as i was thought rich has this rainbow spaghetti which is the most colorful cable in the world however rich is completely black and white with absolutely everything <laughs> Oh, 100%. So take day one, for instance, we talk about social media and the whole brand everything. Just literally putting something on your Instagram to say that I'm at the Art of Smart Academy. You get a couple of messages pinged through to your Instagram and say, oh, I really need to get booked onto that course. The course, obviously, as we all know, you can go on the internet and find out how much the course is. This course is so cheap for the knowledge that you are gonna get from Rich. Unbelievable, I will message anybody back and say yes. I wouldn't think about it, if you can afford to do it, come on the course. It's gonna move you on leaps and bounds for what you're doing. So if you're an electrician or you're already an AV engineer and there's some things that you don't know, just the tiny little sort of hints and tips that he gives. Rich gives so much information away for free with this whole how transparent he actually is through his YouTube videos, through his for me, mainly is Instagram, because I do have an Instagram addiction. Probably not as much as Rich has an Instagram addiction. I don't think it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I would say wholeheartedly to every single person that has even gone, I'm thinking about getting into this industry. Come and sit the course. If it's not for you, you at least know everything that you would need to, to be able to go in and be a smart home installer, an AV engineer, an electrician that can fit data cables. It's like a starting block that I wish I had five, six years ago when I first went into the electrical industry. Always wanted to do it. I didn't know how to get into it. Rich has kicked door open, pulled everybody's pants down and gone, this is smart homes. This is how you do it. Mm. It's not rocket science. We break it all down into individual steps and this is what you need to deliver a completely finished product for a customer from start to finish, from having the plans in front of you to getting the coloured pens and pencils out and drawing on the, the little map of what you want and where it's got to go to then go in, okay, so we translate from here into a full-blown design, into a quote, customer accepts, to first fixing it, first fixing the electrics, second fixing it, programming it, handing it over to the client or commissioning as I would call it, and then maintaining it going forward. So what he's done is just, it's changed the game really.